The third characteristic of waveforms is velocity, which just means the speed of sound, which is pretty clearly defined by the laws of physics. Sound travels at 1130 feet per second, or 334 meters per second, but it only travels that speed at sea level at about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. How fast sound travels is temperature and atmospheric dependent. Because of course, temperature and atmospheric pressure is going to change how far apart the molecules are already, which will then mean they'll either travel faster together or take longer to push together after a sound event. So for every degree Celsius rise in temperature, the speed increases by two feet per second. And then the higher elevation we get up from sea level, the speed of sound reduces because the air is less dense. So therefore more energy is required to generate a pressure displacement, which also means when you get up far enough, there's no sound in outer space. There's no air, there's no air pressure. Of course, sound also travels through substances other than air. And so based on our observations of how sound travels through air, we can assume that in denser mediums, it would travel faster. So in the air, we're traveling at 1130 feet per second. So water, for example, is a more dense substance than air. Of course, sound travels faster through water than air. In seawater specifically, which is more dense than freshwater because of all the salt, sound travels at 4900 feet per second. And then if we get even more dense and look at something like wood, it'll go even faster through it. Of course, woods come in different densities, hardwood, softwood, but fur, for example, on average, sound travels through that at 12,500 feet per second. And then we get even denser into stuff like metal. And in steel, for example, the speed of sound is 16,600 feet per second. Why do we care? All this stuff that we work with, instruments, audio equipment, the rooms that we work in, it's all made out of different substances. If you're building a guitar, you're gonna care about what kind of wood resonates at what kind of frequencies, and that's always going to be determined by its density. And then we definitely care about the speed of sound at large events and concerts, because if you're far away at a festival, it's gonna take the sound from the sound system way longer to reach you than it is to reach your friend at the front of the stage. So it's always worthwhile to keep in mind how fast sound might be traveling in any given environment.